Hey, what's up, YouTube? What is up, everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tapping in here today with me, man. We're checking out some Rupert Holmes Escape. It says the Pina, uh, Pina Colada song. Now, I've heard uh, the chorus of this song before, right? If you like Pina Coladas, like, that's the only part I can think of. So when I saw that in the parentheses, I was like, I got to take a listen, man. Let's go ahead and hear the, what the whole track sounds like, not just that little hook line sinker that I know of. Uh, because that's had to be played everywhere. So I'm excited to jump in, take an actual listen here to Mr. Rupert Holmes, and uh, do his song some justice by hearing the whole thing, all right? Not just the hook. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's take a listen. I was tired of my life. A worn out recording of a favorite song. <laughs> so while she lay there sleeping, I read the paper in bed. And in the personal columns, there was this letter I read. If you like Pina Colada. Classifieds. I didn't think about my lady. I know that sounds kind of mean, but me and my old lady have fallen into the same old dope routine. So I wrote to the paper. Took out a personal ad And though I'm nobody's poet I thought it wasn't half bad Yes, I like pina coladas And getting caught in the rain I'm not much into health food I am into champagne I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon And cut through all this red tape <laughs> and she said, oh, it's you Then we laughed for a moment And I said, I never knew That you like pina coladas <laughs> And getting caught in the rain And the feel of the ocean And the taste of champagne
Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well. All right, so having heard the hook before, I would have not ever guessed that that's what this song was about right now. But I've got to say that the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, well, you know, you get the first verse, it's like, oh, man. Uh, this guy, he clearly wants out of the relationship, but instead of just separating himself from it, he decides, I'll take a chance on cheating, right? He responds back to this person in the paper. They make up a plan to rendezvous, and he meets up, and it's not some stranger. It's his own lady, which implies they were both looking to cheat on each other, but instead that is kind of making them fall in love again. And I'm just like... Yeah, maybe one in a million that would happen because I think every other situation you both would be rather upset in each other, but you're both doing the same thing. You're both going out trying to cheat on one another. So it's kind of interesting that the song paints it as a fall in love again story, but obviously a little bit, I guess, tongue in cheek, a little uh, satire, a little funny because realistically, I'm just like, that wouldn't happen realistically, right? Am I the only one that's like, dude, that's a hard sell on that one, man. All right, so this song was released in 1979. They got it listed as soft rock. And for the background, uh, it says the original lyrics, the original lyrics said, if you like Humphrey Bogart and getting caught in the rain. As, uh, and he goes on to say, uh, Mr. Rupert goes on to say, as I was getting on mic, I thought to myself, I've done so many movie references to Bogart and widescreen cinema on earlier albums. Maybe I should do, uh, shouldn't do one here. I thought, what can I substitute? Well, this woman wants an escape. Like she wants to go on vacation to the islands. When you go on vacation to the islands, you sit on the beach and someone asks you if you want something to drink, you never order a Budweiser. You don't have a beer. You're on vacation. You want to drink a hollowed out pineapple with flags of all nations and a parasol. If the drink is blue, you'd be very happy. And a long straw, I thought. What are those escape drinks? Let's see. There's daiquiris, Mai Tais, pina coladas. I wonder what a pina colada tastes like. I've never had one. I thought that instead of singing, if you like Humphrey Bogart, with emphasis on like, I could start it a syllable earlier and go, if you like pina coladas. So there you go, man. The song almost wound up being radically different. And if it was, would it have been this big hit? Instead of pina colada, you get Humphrey Bogart. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? That's a little different of a song. But... It would totally have the same jam, probably. So, And just a little background real quick before I dip on Rupert Holmes. It looks like he is out of Northwich, Ches uh, Cheshire, England, okay? And uh, he was born in 1947. There you go. Currently aged 76. He is 76. He uh, instruments vocals, keyboards, saxophone. He's a composer, singer, songwriter, playwright, and author. Wow. Three children. Awesome. There we go, guys. Thank you for tuning in here today. I got a totally different adventure than I could have even thought was going to happen with this song. So that's rather enjoyable when that happens, man. Just left field from a song that I've heard a bit of before and I didn't know what the actual complete context was. So now I know. Thank you guys for partaking in this reaction here today. Really appreciate you hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget like, subscribe. Check out the descriptions down below. Maybe consider becoming a channel member here on YouTube or my Patreon. Would really appreciate that. With that being said, I'm gone. See you on the next one, okay? Peace.